Hi guys. Uh, got back to do my second uh, simple DRO, this time for the uh, tailstock. Might be visible behind me, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, kept it very simple. A bit crude actually, not really up to my normal standard, but uh, it, it is <laughs> my usual word, functional. <laughs> So not much machining really. Um, cut the uh, quill piece to profile on the bandsaw and finish it off on the belt sander. It's not really very well finished, but it works. Stuck a magnet in it and uh, put the digital vernier thing on the tailstock itself. You'll see in the clips what, what I did with it. So it's another thing out of the way and uh, I've got, well, at least two other projects I want to get on with, slightly more significant, quite a lot more machining type stuff, but to be honest I don't know when I'll next be out here. Um, this uh, tailstock thing was very much done in bits, you know. I, the, the problem of being out here for long at a time and it does make things a bit fragmented shall we say so anyway I'll get back when I get back uh, at some point hopefully um, but if I'm not don't appear for a little while <laughs> don't worry about it there are one or two minor things I might slot in but uh, we'll see how it goes. At least the temperature's better and it's probably going to get sweaty hot in a few days, so <laughs> it'll be the other extreme. Anyway, there we go. Um, the clips hopefully will have some sense of uh, flow or continuity, but it's hard to tell till I put it together. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope to see you sometime in the future. <laughs> okay, bye for now. Well, I'm bringing you in, having made a start on this, the uh, lathe DRO that I made recently used one of these and this is what it's like when you buy it. It's got two plastic legs on it, it's a sort of approximate means of uh, checking height, depth, etc. So uh, I cut those pieces off and that just gives us the basic. So what we're doing, this is for the tailstock by the way, this is a piece of a piece of bar, I think there's an awful lot of glare on that isn't there? I've got too much light maybe, let's see. Uh, I'll try that. Yeah, this is a piece of bar. It's about five eighths by one and an eighth, something like that. Anyway, I'm chancing my arm here. <laughs> yes. I've got. I didn't bother to set it up in an angle vise, uh, and it's not actually secured by an awful lot. But I'm taking progressive cuts about thirty-five thou time to get this down to. A surface for mounting uh, it'll all become clear as mud <laughs> later on I'll bring you back on the uh, last cut or so actually I only need one more cut I need about an inch of uh, machine surface there so I'll take the last cut I think that'll do. Just a quick check. 
Yeah, I only need a, an inch there to mount the uh, display. Well, I've cut a piece of uh, 3 8 plate. It's fairly rough cut at the moment. And uh, cutting corners as usual, like I did on the last item. Trying to avoid having to bother with a boring bar. I've got uh, this inch and an eighth annular cutter. Um, I dare say it's meant to have a another fitting for the top end. I'm having to use it in this chuck which is on a two morse into an R8 adapter and of course I don't have a lot of spare height in this machine so this is really a case of a bit of a lash up. Uh, it's not running dead true, it seems to be getting a cut so I'll zoom in a bit and we'll see how we get on. Pretty low revolutions here. Some alcohol. And just try and take it steady. Clear the chips now and again. I think I'm nearly through. It's actually cutting very, very nicely. The main thing is whether the um, hole will be oversized, but we'll see how it works out. thought that might have gone through actually because it certainly hasn't got far to go see if this will finish it It's virtually there, just got to clean out the end of the cut and we're done there I think. Yes, yeah, so it almost finished. I've actually taken the slug out because the tooth uh, profile is cutting this extra here and it's spinning the core and not quite finishing the hole so hopefully it will finish now. Seems to have tidied it up. Couldn't quite tell whether I'd got through. This is an import annular cutter. Bit of an experiment. I'll check that for size and see if it's uh, hopefully close enough. Well, although that wasn't running totally true, this combination of chuck and annular and the R8 adapter, Actually, damn close. I, I just checked that. It's about two or three thou oversize, I suppose, and it it goes onto the uh, quill of the tailstock. So what we've got to do next 
is um, we've got to remove this area and this area and that'll leave us this portion here to split and drill and tap that's going to be the cinch bolt and uh, this end um, you won't be able to see I've got some sharpie on here but it's not very clear but from here we'll come down to we'll come down to a taper and then we'll put a magnet in there it'll all become clear as mud later on <laughs> all right quite pleased with that nice clean hole before we cut this down to profile so it's easier to keep in the vise uh, I'm going to do like on the last job on the lathe where I buried the magnets into the material so I've got to have a fixing hole for the countersunk magnet so I'm just popping that in real quick it's for a M3 by 0.5 Now there's not really absolute necessity to uh, put the magnet into a pocket in the material but I think I will. One or two reasons and uh, I've actually got a new 5 eighths uh, centre cut end mill which should do the job for that. I'll get that set up. All right, it's got there, okay. Actually needed a slightly more positive feed on that cutter. It was doing quite well. Still a bit of vibration, but we got a fairly reasonable pocket in there. So uh, we'll take this out, cut some profiles, and then work on this end for a cinch bolt. Well, I've got a rough uh, profile cut, and it is pretty rough. So, a bit of time at the uh, belt sander, clean that up a bit, and then we can uh, get this drilled and uh, slit it. Well, I was going to counter bore, I suppose I could have used a smaller size bolt. But uh, <laughs> I'm committed now because I've drilled for tapping. So we'll use this, uh, have a washer underneath, it'll do the job. This is another of those uh, very functional efforts. <laughs> no great tolerances. And I don't think the edge of this is really particularly pretty at the moment, but uh, we'll see. Well, I think this is about the last step. I wanted a fairly thick kerf on the saw, so I've got to use this one. It's pretty crappy, actually. My selection of slitting saws isn't very good, and this one is not one of the best, but it'll do the job, I think. Very approximate. <clears throat> this isn't really square. I should actually have machined the whole thing externally, but uh, it was <laughs> just too much damn trouble. So I think it'll work. Let's deburr things and uh, see where we go. All right, here's the part. 
it's, uh, as I think I said, it, it's crude. And I've already done this in numerous odd bits, so I've no idea whether the continuity is adequate. Um, and there was no point in trying to count up all that. So that will go on probably just shy of the end of the quill because of uh, release for one or two things. And then I've, I've cut down this piece because well, it's even visible. No, you can't quite see it. The uh, hand wheel here would catch on it and the actual the actual effective usable length of the quill on this one is only about two and a half inch. And then that piece that I was making at the beginning of the video is just something to give me a bit of an angle. So we'll fix that. This is all going to be stuck on. I don't want to drill holes and start bolting. So that will go on there. And then, and then that will go on. So I'll get these bits installed and then I'll show you the finished item. So I'm cutting corners all the time. All assembled. It's only double-sided tape. Like I said earlier, I didn't want to start drilling holes and bolting. I don't think I'll need to take it off in a hurry. We can get at the battery. And I said before, probably two or three times, um, this is not very well finished, but it's, uh, it's a means to an end. And this will cover, this will cover the distance that I'm interested in. I start, this is uh, not a very long travel. Well, that's actually only going up to about two inch there. I thought it was two and a half, but uh, it's a bit tight, really only two inches of really good travel. Might even have to make a new quill sometime. Anyway, that basically is it. And it works. <laughs> so it's another small project out of the way.